I will be the first to admit that my initial attempt at a tutorial was a bit of a So, here's take two of me showing you how to make a Yuji Itadori sweatshirt at home. You will need one red hoodie, one black hoodie, some buttons that for some reason I am gonna throw, uh, basic sewing supplies, and an insatiable desire to look like an anime character. We shall begin by busting out our trusty old seam ripper and ripping the hood off the hoodie. Uh, question guys, if no hood on hoodie, Still hoodie? Anyway, <laughs> you're gonna remove the hood and the cuffs from both the red and the black hoodie. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I was trying to present the red hoodie, but it just, anyway. And now we're just gonna crop down that black body portion to whatever length we want it to be. Totally optional, but the friend that I was making this for liked the crop look and so do I. Then you're just gonna cut out this sort of diagonal front flap portion. We're basically creating a faux front flap. Uh, take that raw edge, hem it over, and then you're gonna reconnect those two two pieces of fabric back together. And you're probably saying, Romy, why didn't you just top stitch the fabric back into place so you wouldn't have to hand stitch it down? And the answer to that is, I like to make life harder for myself sometimes. And I do the Macarena, apparently. I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, once you're done dancing, you should be left with something like this. Now it's time to reattach the cuffs. Basically, we are going to be replacing the red cuffs from the red hoodie with the black cuffs from the black hoodie so that there are now red cuffs on the black hoodie. And I'm now realizing as I am saying this that I'm probably overcomplicating it. Um, all you need to know is red cuffs, black hoodie. Yeah, okay, moving on. Hem that bottom edge and the time has come to move on to the all important Yuji hood. Now grab your red hood and crop it off just above that disc Disgusting. Silver eyelid because it takes away from the overall design if you don't do this. Left it on last time, wasn't gonna make that mistake this time. Moving on to the extended neckline, you're going to be measuring out how tall you want that to be. I initially measured mine at about four inches, but that ended up being a little bit too tall, so I cropped it back to about three and a quarter later on. Go ahead and cut out two of these three and a quarter inch tall tubies and cut them open so you have two long strips that you can sandwich your hood in between. Make sure you have your right sides facing together, then pin and sew along the top edge that I'm pointing out right over here. Go ahead and flip everything right side out once you've done that and you should have a nice clean edge that will line up with your neckline. Now reverting our attention back to the black body portion of the hoodie, you're going to be measuring out that neckline and then transferring that measurement to your red hood. Don't forget to add a couple inches to each of the ends of this measurement because it is going to cross over a little bit. Plus, it's always good to have a little bit of extra seam allowance. Remember friends, you can always cut down the fabric. You cannot, however, magically add fabric to the fabric. Flip just the edges of your extended neck portion inside out so you have the right sides facing together and sew along the seam that I'm pointing out right over here. Once you've done that, flip it right side out and repeat on the opposite end of your hoodie. And we are nearly there, friends. The last big step is for us to reattach the hood to the hoodie, which reminds me, is hoodie still hoodie if hood not attached to hoodie, even if hoodie is meant to be hoodie when hoodie is reattached? Hood, ah! Or does it just become a sweatshirt until the point at which the hood is reattached to the hoodie? Anyway, last step, buttons. These buttons are non-functional and purely for decoration, so just go ahead and tack them on wherever you want, or be lazy like me and just safety pin them on. Don't worry, I only did this on the one that I made for myself and not on the one that I made for my friend. Also, you can see the eyelet that I forgot to cut off the first time. I, I hate it. Overall, I'm still pretty happy with the design. I wear it a ton even outside of cosplay, but I of course had to throw on the UG wig because it's me and I absolutely had to. Also, you might notice that I have like three or four different hair colors in this video and that just goes to show how long it took for me to edit this. And there's another hairstyle. Woo! Sent this package off to my friend Lucy and here is Lucy modeling. Look how stunning, amazing, and gorgeous. Hype her up. Amazing. <laughs> let me know if this helped. I hope that this helped a little more than the last attempt. And let me know if you want more anime inspired clothing tutorials.